it's Terra T Veteran. Before we get started, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to leave some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Now today, we're going to hit on how to lower your estrogen, or E2, naturally. So men's bodies produce estradiol, or E2, naturally. They need it for various functions. However, when you're on testosterone, your body will begin to convert those androgens to estradiol. So as I mentioned, we need estrogen to support several things naturally, such as healthy brain and organ function, it affects our, our erectile function, maintenance of bone health, regulation of fat mass and lean mass, lipid metabolism, and skin metabolism. So too low of estrogen can result in several side effects such as fatigue, depression, erectile dysfunction, mood swings, anxiety, and water retention. The normal range of estrogen in your body should be between 7.6 and 42.6. So it is okay to be a little above that 42.6 range, but how are you gonna make sure that you stay within a healthy range of estrogen? The first thing is you should be getting your labs done on a pretty consistent basis with your doctor and they should be checking your E2 during your routine blood work. If your E2 or estrogen is too high, you can either treat it with natural supplements or if it is super high, you may need to start taking a prescribed medication called an AI or aromatase inhibitor. So there are several people out there that are super against AIs and just want to treat naturally. However, I do believe there is a place for some people to take an AI. When it came to controlling my estrogen, the first thing my doctor did was split my dose. He began splitting my testosterone dose from the two injections a week that I was doing into four and then ultimately five injections a week. The more injections means that your testosterone level stays on a more level field and your estrogen doesn't convert as much, so your estrogen stays on a level field as well. So I did try an AI, however, that did not work out too well for me. My doctor prescribed me supplements such as DIM. However, DIM can be good, it can help lower estrogen in others, but for me, it actually raised my estrogen. And so some doctors used to prescribe DIM a lot more consistently. However, now that they're finding out that it can raise estrogen, they haven't been prescribing as much. If you did want to try DIM though, it is over the counter, so you can find it on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and throw a link down below for it. A couple other supplements that are huge and preferred by most men to help reduce estrogen naturally is calcium deglucrate and grapeseed extract. So these are two supplements, again, over the counter. We get them on Amazon. I'll throw that link in the description below that seem to really work, especially for me. I was taking 1,000 milligrams of calcium deglucrate and 1,200 milligrams of grapeseed extract a day. And I was seeing results. My E2 or my estrogen did begin to level out and started to lower over time. And I was on that process for about 18 months and was seeing a consistent lowering in estrogen. So with my time in the military, I have suffered from extreme joint pain. So to counter that, my doctor has started prescribing DECA. But with that, one of the side effects is raising estrogen in your body. And my estrogen has began to creep up even though I am still on calcium deglucrate and grapeseed extract. And with my estrogen slowly creeping back up, I've had to change up what I am doing and have began to reintroduce in a very low dose of an AI. So check out my next video and I will go into AIs in more detail. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, if you want to see a video on something in the future, go ahead and comment it down in the comment section. Head over to Instagram and follow my page, TRT Veteran, and also check out my Facebook group, TRT Veteran.